Hey, welcome to Vista Ridge High School. We are excited to showcase the amazing things going on at the Ridge. So let's go to our first AVID class. Go Rangers. Okay, we're gonna to go to the AVID class, which means Advancement via Individual Determination. As you can tell, we have a lot of college readiness banners all throughout our system here. We have college stuff all over the ceiling and the walls because we wanna promote a college readiness environment and tell kids that all pathways are possible. College, career, and military readiness. Hey, it's all good, just act natural, okay. <laughs> So this is Avid. What are we doing today? This is the first time they've really thought about what life is going to be like and imagining what life is going to be like when they are away from their family, their family family. So as a family, we were kind of creating a vision for what that's going to look like, and we are excited about their future. Designing the perfect dream college right there. So what makes a perfect dream college? They said whatever makes you feel the more like the most comfortable and happy. I love to be in like big cities and like around people. I like nature a lot, so I added like some greenery and like pathways and trees. Well, uh, I thought, you know, Texas A&M, it's kind of yeah. cool. I always wanted to go there. <laughs> Good answer. I really want something that has like fun things around it, but good resources around it too. So what they all just said is they're hoping to get accepted to Texas A&M. <laughs> Was that funny? Hey, what are y'all doing? What is this? A little debate? debate. A little debate practice. Okay, we have one of the best speech and debate programs in all of Texas, <laughs> right? And so what do we, real quick, what do we, sorry, this is kind of impromptu, but Ramia is part of the Superintendent's Council as well. I thought She's you awesome. were familiar. Yeah, she was at our school board meeting. What's your topic or what are you working on? Uh, we're doing, um, should NATO increase defense commitment to the Baltics? The AF is saying NATO should increase defense commitment to the Baltics, and the NEG, or the negative, is saying we should not increase defense commitment to the Baltics. Okay. Hey, and we're really good at this, okay? These guys are really good, so go Rangers. Go Rangers. I mean, last tournament, we won first, second, third in public forum. <laughs> wow. Good job. Good job. All right. That is awesome. Keep it up, guys. Keep, Good luck today. We have the largest collection of students that are um, emergent bilingual students. So we have 147 students from over 20 different countries at Vistridge High School. I tend to walk really fast. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. It's okay. We're going back this way. I get a little, too, a little ahead of myself there. Put it in reverse. <laughs> Reverse, and here we go. Okay. So Mr. Huddleston teaches our social studies or U.S. history. So anything you would want to add about our class here? So this is a, a sheltered ESL class. So all the students in this class are typically within their first one, two, three, four years in the United States, and all of them are learning English uh, as their second language. So what are some ways they really help you? You said it makes you more comfortable and it helps. What's like one specific way you can think of? And what's your name, by the way? Uh, Victoria. Victoria? My name is Victoria. Victoria, beautiful name. Yeah, okay, and I'm so from Mexico. Just being a teenager is hard. Coming to a giant 6A high school as a teenager is hard. Coming to a giant 6A high school as a teenager who is also learning to speak English is really, 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 really hard, okay? So our sheltered program provides a sheltered space, a safe space. Well, like Mr. Huddleston, he gives like keywords like for, uh, to translate and all of that. So yeah, that helps. Instead of the other classes, it's like, oh, like fast and all of that. So we're going to one more ESL class. So it's okay. a, actually an um, inclusion. So the ESL teacher goes into the math class to support students in that room. Hello, hello, there's hello. Some math Come on, on the in. Wall. <laughs> right, there's some there's math on the wall. Guys, how are we doing today? How do you feel the ESL support works in a class like math where a lot of the language that you're using is not like day to day language that you would have used socially in, in your home? You're absolutely right. The uh, students not only have to use their English language but also the math academic language on top of that right. but they do have to communicate uh, they do have to use uh, daily language too you know like just normal normal words to use you know explaining things to their friends and listening what their friends have to say and writing it down so they do get a lot of that too so mr Wynn actually have push into classrooms this is an algebra 2 classroom he'll come in and support students and it's great to see his support but also the support of other students for our students as well Absolutely. right so not only is it math but it's social emotional 
all those things, correct? Yes, yes, I agree. Let's go talk to a few kids and find out what we're doing. By the way, Vista Ridge, historically, very good in robotics. We've won three state championships. You can see our banners and first robotics. Not that we're trying to brag, but we are. Tell us your name. My name is Sebastian Ochoa. Sebastian. And I'm Julian Dolakia. Okay. And what are, we, what are we working on today? Well, today we're working on an electric winch project, which is where we're trying to um, create a winch using a motor and some and a set current and voltage to try and lift up a weight and try to get, us, get it as efficient as possible. So you guys are both, not only in this class, but big robotics leadership as well. So how's robotics going this year? It's going great. I feel a lot better about this season than last season. <laughs> what are y'all's thoughts about this year's season and the challenge for this year? Well, this year we had a something. We have a new challenge that we didn't have in the previous. We haven't had since like 2019. Terrain. The challenge this year is called Freight Frenzy, and essentially you have these these towers, and you're trying to get little blocks. These little blocks and uh, one of those circles or <laughs> spheres over there, and you're trying to put them on on a tower, essentially. So what's your favorite part about this? Uh, my favorite part about this is like, you can just let your imagination just like go crazy and you can like just come up with things on a computer and then, you know, you have a cool partner and you just build stuff. Go Rangers! Boom, give me the guns up this time. Yeah, we do it again, it. okay. Ready, one, two, three. Go Rangers!